Hey everybody, so today is October 20th, 2020, and Lotro came out with their War of Three Peaks uh, release and expansion. It's $20. You, differently than most other expansions, you actually have to go to a new section of the Lotro store, and I'll show you that right here. So you go to the new section, Lotro Market, newest expansion, boom, there you go. And you got all your um, stuff going on here, right? It'll explain what you want. And you have to log in when you buy it, so you're gonna click buy, and you're gonna have to log in to your actual Lord of the Rings online account, not your forum account, which might be different. Um, and then when you log into the game, it will do that fanciness. So. This expansion includes a bunch of zones. Um, the update includes some class balances and changes, as well as some new, some slight changes to some things, such as virtues and your your UI. So, I'm just gonna kind of read it through for you. So, to start the expansion, you probably you should have done the Flood Fells uh, quest pack. So you're gonna, uh, if you haven't done that, you could probably start right here at 3.1 at the top of the flood fells. Boom, see Limlock, okay. And talk to Glowin, 3.1, boom, there you go, start your story. If you want to do the flood fell stuff, which will give you an uh, extra trade point, I believe, go talk to Durin inside of Erebor, uh, the king all the way in the back of Erebor, and he'll give you the 1.1 or the interlude or whatever to start 1.1 of the dwarf books. As you can see there, so if you read these things, there's a couple of, there's a new 12 person raid, um, there's a new six man instance, and there's a bunch of new quests, right? And they're, and they're all over the place. Right here it says, there are singles and duos, level 20 through 30, at Thorns Gate, Gondamon, Bree, 21st Hall, Othricar, Gavelshatur, Glowens Camp, Hembrard, Galtrev, Dolvenview, Magashu, Jarnfast, Erevor, and Minas Tirith in the Midsummer. So pretty much everywhere where there are dwarves around Middle Earth. Those quests, you're going to go to Gavalaka, the Stable Master, and it will take you to Anik Kerfu, the War Room in Elder Slave, which is where you can begin and experience all these mission missions. They're a great way to... Um, or leveling loot and much more. Um, it's also a great way to level regardless of what level you are in the game. So it because it does scale up and down, just like festival. Um, so we're gonna go through our class notes, right? So we got burglar. A couple of little tiny fixes. Doesn't really matter. Um, it's just like deed issues. Um, guardian actually has some changes. So Thrill the Battle, which is a red line bonus. All right. That's this one right here. It no longer does every 30 seconds. It's now every eight seconds. So every time you crit, every eight seconds that you crit, you will get a heal with your, with your response skills. So that is um, Shield Swipe, Bash, um, Retaliation, Whirling Retaliation, Thrust, Overwhelm, To the King, and if you have it, redirect. Or um, if you have it, shield smash. So all response skills that you can mess with. Now, when you go to blue line, so that's a red line change. So when you go to blue line, this is the biggest changes and they're really, really nice for Guardian. So blue line, let's switch real quick. So you got a couple changes to blue line. So the Stoic Bubble now re provides a damage reduction during its fact effect rather than a 10% heal because previously at the end of your thing it would give you a um, plus 10% heal which was garbage because you had a 100% heal like the bubble and the bubble almost never popped. So now you have a minus 20% incoming of all damage types which is fantastic for the duration of that bubble. Well actually for 15 seconds. Um, so. If the bubble pops, it will still go on. Um, in addition to your plus maximum morale, your heal, um, all that other buff, etc. Um, next, break ranks. So originally how you would do it is you would 
build up stacks every single time. Um, yeah, every, uh, one quarter of the time you used a a, fort uh, a shield skill. So you'd use shield blow, shield taunt, shield swipe, sh uh, bash, or um, shield smash. Those two skills got switched. Um, or shield smash. And any of the, or um, smashing staff. And any of those would give you, had 25% chance to give you a fortification buff. Once you got five of those, usually after about five or six skills, um, you would give the whole fellowship a 2% mitigate, or sorry, the whole raid within 80 meters a 2% mitigation buff that's permanent until everyone, until they die or out of combat, which is fantastic. Um, and it would stack with multiple guardians. Um, now, that still occurs because of this passive, but now... In, so originally, you could use Shield Smash or Litany of Defiance, okay? Which would cash out those, and Shield Smash would give you a 20% damage bonus for 20 seconds. Which was kind of useless because you're a blue line guardian, why are you trying to do damage? Right? And I mean, I know I've said that I like doing damage, but like... You're, it was only really useful for aggro, but not to, like, for aggroing ads. But now, with a couple of these changes that I'm going to continue explaining, you can do great. You can do just as well pretty much any other way. So, Shield Smash no longer caches it out, but Shield Taunt will. So, if, if you get five stacks, right, Shield Taunt... Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay. So here you go. So Shield Taunt will actually now cash out your, your, your five stacks of fortification and give your entire group that you're in a 40% damage buff for 15 seconds. And you can do that every 60 seconds. In addition, your guardian gains an additional 5% damage. You know, whatever, 5%. Five, 5%, right? So that's, like, that's awesome. Um, and also, your fortification buff, uh, according to the patch notes, um, after, there's no longer a cooldown after you cash out a fortification buff, so you can immediately start rebuilding it. So say you give your group a damage buff, well, then you can also use Litany Defiance once you get those five stacks back up immediately, and then start rebuilding them back up. Instead of having to wait, I believe it was like 30 seconds between, um, using a cash out skill and having to stack it, being able to stack it up, which is fantastic. Um, so now, Bellow, which is, uh, gives you Fray the Edge range, Challenge range, it now gives a minus five second cooldown per level, um, for Challenge. So Challenge can now be down to a 30 second, down from 55 second. So Champions, Horn of Champions now has two tiers. Um, your first will grant you the skill, and then the second tier will make it a taunt. So if you're the blue line champion, right, that, that's, that's great. Um, Deafening Horror now only has one tier, and will grant the full effect of the bonus to the skill for plus 40% damage for four targets. So there you go. Alright, so Warden Light Tight Damage from the Martial Fury set bonus have been reworked to scale properly with your weapons. Um, the Warden can no longer exploit and slow enemies who are immune to slows. Um, mark target, diminish target, and fire at will are now categorized as javelin skills. Um, so that's good. Nice! Okay, so now the featured instance, I didn't even know this. The featured instance and the featured challenge armor sets, so that's going to be in your Control J menu, right? This guy here, right? The changing weekly. Um, those set bonuses now have appropriate armor sets. Now have appropriate max levels for their bonuses. Sweet. Tier five and six essences are now available from Adventure Steelbound Loot Boxes and the Adventure Quartermaster. 
And now, virtues, virtue traits, go up to level 72. So that you get, you can get even more stat bonuses from all of these wonderful awesomeness um, things. And I'm kind of sad because I almost, I, I had like four more left to max out. I, um, additionally, they added a um, thing at your launch where you can hit do not log out for eight hours so it will um you won't if you go afk or whatever your character won't log out um and yeah so cool i hope this uh update helped you i hope um you enjoy and i also hope to see you in future videos so thank you um check out our patreon below we um if they do add a code for the VIP, uh, sorry, if they do add a code for the Three Peaks, we will be doing a giveaway a week after that happens. So if it's, um, and, and the soonest being November 1st. So we will be doing a giveaway in our Discord. So be sure to join that and watch for updates on if or when they do make it available via code because we will be participating uh, we will buy one or two of those and give them away at the end of this month so be sure to check out our patreon be sure to hit the like button the subscribe button to say something nice or not nice in the comments um and definitely be sure to join that discord thank you and i hope you have a wonderful day